I want to show you before we move on how to do the space section. How to really make it look like your shapes are receding into the drawing. So the way you do that is you need to have a vanishing point. A point where everything is receding to. And it can be anywhere on your piece of paper. If it's over here, your shapes are going to recede this direction. If it's over here, they're going to recede this direction. The closer you are to your design, the quicker they recede. The faster it looks like they, they um, go the distance. If I put the dot way over here, they're going to take longer to recede. I think it's a little more drastic or a little more dramatic to have the vanishing point close by. So I'm going to put my vanishing point right here at this little point. And now remember, any shape that you we draw up here is going to recede to this vanishing point. I'm going to draw a circle and a square just for the demonstration. So you can see how to do both. And this works with any kind of shape. You can even use letters, whatever you want. Then you're going to need a ruler and you want to have one end of the ruler lined up with your vanishing point. Remember that dot that we drew? The other end of the ruler, you can swivel it in until it hits the, the outside edge, the furthest outside edge of the shape. And then you're just going to connect that outside edge to the line. Now, you can be cognizant of where you're drawing. And, like, I did not need to go over this line here. I could have stop drawing at that point. And then this square, now here I'm going to just clean up my square a little bit here so you can see it a little bit better. I'm going to make this square look like it's actually an open box, like you can actually go into this. So again, vanishing point and anything that's an outside edge I'll do first. And this one actually lines up, so I, that was probably not the best choice for a demonstration. But see how that one corner is just exactly lined up. So we'll just leave that like that. And then now, if I want to make it look like this, is, you can go into this box. I'm going to connect this corner to the vanishing point as well. And then it should look like the box is an open box. Like that you can actually go into it. I also, if you notice on my first design, I made it look like even the shape, the large um, um, section here was also receding into space. And that was really easy to do as well. I just took that corner and connected it to the vanishing point. Oops, a little too far. I like that. So it kind of looks like a cliff or something, which that's kind of a nice idea. You can make this look like a cliff. So this could be your section, texture, texture section. So maybe some sort of landscape cliff sort of thing. You can also have shapes that are behind these. So if I put another circle in there. And then find your dot. And when you hit that shape, you can just stop because you wouldn't see it because it's behind it. Unless, of course, it's supposed to be see-through. You can also make it look like your shapes um, don't continue all the way to the vanishing point. So I made mine look kind of like they're going to have maybe flames at the bottom. Basically, you just figure out this is this top edge. I need to copy that edge so that it makes sense. So it's a, you're like copying just that, the, the type of curve a little lower. And so now that one looks like it's floating. You know, if I want to do the same thing with this one, maybe a little lower. It looks like maybe I'm going to turn into like a spaceship or something, which would that be kind of a cool concept. So there you go. That's how you make it look like things are receding into space. So that's a really easy way. And for sure, it's not the only way to show, demonstrate that you understand space, because space can also be positive and negative. Space can be the way things are spread out and the distance between things. It could be a tree that's really close, is really big. As it gets further and further away, it could get smaller. So you can enjoy space in other ways besides this, but I know this is just kind of a fun way to enter it into your design.